think the first time I played volleyball was probably outside with my sisters. We'd be out there for like five minutes, then someone would pick on someone and we'd have to go in. I don't know, I just kind of picked it up and started playing and I was like, eh, I'm not that bad at this. So I just kind of stuck with it and it turned out I was pretty decent at it, so kind of went with it. My older sister, Megan, she was kind of a volleyball nerd and I was kind of like, no, basketball for sure, but just kind of followed her, went to all her games, went to all her matches, and I was like, I want to be better than her. So I picked up a volleyball and started getting after it. I think at growing up, it was kind of like I want to be like her, but then I think when I started actually getting skill and stuff, it was kind of I want to be better than her. We were both different positions, so it's kind of easy to be like, oh, she's better than me type of thing. I've always wanted to be like my sisters, even my younger sister, I think she's great. So it's kind of we all kind of were role models for each other growing up in the sport. I remember it was probably winning a state championship with my older sister. We'd never done it at that high school. It was like the first time, so I thought it was pretty cool and so hard, but it was cool to share with my sister, so we have that in common, and that was the only time we really played together, so I don't know, something special to look back on, and we have pictures and trophies. Molly was instantly just like super good at it. It was kind of frustrating. No, she just, she was always like, I just want to play like you and Megan, and she did, and she ended up probably being better than both of us, so. I'm glad that we could help her. I don't really remember a lot of the games that I've played, but it is like the road trips and the, the long practices with the sisters in the car. And, you know, I'll practice from three to six and Molly will have to go after and it's just like a huge long day of just volleyball. I think it's humbling that we all just played in the Big Ten because it's the best conference out there. And, you know, of course you want to be on the same team as your sisters, but it's cool seeing Molly make her own name at Wisconsin and Megan make her own name at Nebraska. And, me at Michigan State, and I think it's just something that we're all super proud of, and of course it's awkward kind of playing against them because you want them to do well but not too well. No, I mean, we're just blessed. We, we worked hard to get here, and it's fun. Michigan State is my home. It took me a little bit to find it, but I'm glad that I did. This place just means so much to me. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. I just, I don't know where I'd be without Michigan State. Um, I don't think I would have stuck with volleyball if Kathy didn't believe in me, my parents, and my family, so this place just means a lot to me. I've struggled with uh, shoulder surgery and some back stuff, but I think that the one thing I learned is just to stay patient and it's worth it. And there was a lot of times I was just like, this isn't for me anymore, like I had a good junior career, but Maybe it's just time to throw in the towel and call it a day. But I think my teammates and my coaches and my family just kept me pushing. Because it is tough and sitting on the sidelines isn't fun, but it's worth it. And I know that I'm gonna look back and I probably would have regretted not sticking with it. So I'm glad that I did. And it's so important when you get older because you do realize how fast it goes. But when you're a freshman, you have everything coming your way. And just enjoy it. Enjoy the small wins. Enjoy the big wins. Learn from your big losses. Learn from your small losses. Volleyball is just a game that teaches you much more than just the court stuff, but like off the court and being a great teammate. And that's the one thing that I think I'm going to struggle with leaving here is, you know, it sounds so cliche that like, oh, I'm just miss my teammates and the people, but it's so real here at Michigan State. And That'll be the toughest part, I think.
I think I'm always going to be tied with the sport. I think that maybe one day I could get into coaching. Now that's been a big part of my life, so it'll be weird, but I'm I'm happy with the way that I'm finishing it and what I've done up to this point. So I can't play volleyball forever, even though I thought that was you could when you were younger. <laughs> it's best to play volleyball forever, but it's not a thing. So um, yeah, it'll be tough, but. It's time to move on.